It is common knowledge that electrolytic capacitors require to observe strictly the polarity of its lead's connection. If the positive lead is with negative voltage, the capacitor will work poorly or even break down. For those cases when the capacitor needs to be plugged into a circuit with variable polarity of the voltage, special non-polar electrolytic capacitors are produced. Non-polar capacitors can be plugged into circuits of direct and pulsating current without regard to polarity. They permit change of polarity during operation as well. Ordinary aluminium electrolytic capacitor consists of two plates made of aluminium tape and a special electrolyzed silk paper between them, while the plates has a thin layer of aluminium oxide. If there is an aluminium oxide layer on the surface of both aluminium plates, the capacitor becomes non-polar. Because of this, the size of non-polar capacitors usually is 1.5 two times as big as of similar polar capacitors. Sometimes in practice you may need to use non-polar electrolytic capacitor. If you don't have at hand a capacitor or the natural rating, you can add as follows. Non-polar capacitors can be replaced by two polar plugged in back to back. When making such a capacitor, you should remember that the capacitance of each polar capacitor should be twice as high as the capacitance of the non-polar you want to get as a result of your actions. In our case, uniting the two capacitors a 100 MCF with a rating of 350 volt, we obtain a non-polar capacitor of 50 microfarads at 350 volt. So we briefly told you about the non-polar electrolytic capacitors. We hope this will help you in choosing the right componentry.